You said while you were at home having a naming ceremony. Ko ya fo janko to malame tembo men na ibe nsuo ko nandum kulio nyambole baliya. Someone called to inform you that the witch hunters were coming. Moye ko mani telephone ora ko ko nyimbo ade malal kanale. Prior to this jannin nyin be kala. Did you hear about the activities of the witch hunters? Fo ene e kibar sorale ban ko ka suji ni nyimbo ade malal ko wala ba. Ha. Yes. And How did you hear about it? Ya kibaro ni moy nyaadi le. Na kibaro me kombo ko no wolle ya kumo kina. We heard it from the people who were in Kombo. They sent the message to us. What information did you hear about them? Ya mun kibaro le soto ila kuoto. Ha e ka kibaro ki ne ko ya ya jamme min dir lalle samana ban ko kam. Well the information we were given was that ya ya jamme brought people into the country. who made people to drink some sort of a concoction as at that time you heard that message o tembola ka bete o kibaro ni moy how did you feel about it akite fe nyaadi le ha ya dan fe jaakal ko wolti well this thing was so puzzling so you were not surprised when you heard that the witch hunters had arrived in your village amunta wada kabriya moy ko nyimbo wade mala ndinda ta la sado ra ko nyim ameteren Ha? Akwa ni metere kabringi ya moy na dalay fura dal sadoro silam. Ha, na moy ni la finto temo a metale. Well, I had them before they came to our village. It was a little bit long when I heard about their news and the time they came to our village. You've told us that when uh, they arrived at the village. Ya fo mole janko biri na dalay fura dal sadoro nyin kono. On that particular day. O lungo nyin. The village was almost surrounded by soldiers. Lungoning so sato ning ha karanta mo be so e tanko bunda mo ya be muru muru nenu. How do you know this when you were in your compound? Ite ni lonya di la tumala me na ite be nungi la suwa kono. Ah, ngon don ma ilie ma biri ni muso in telephone kena wata re ifta ka sintedi. Well, we were not expecting them on that day, but when this lady made this call, by the time we received the call, they had already arrived in sintedi. So the call was made the same day that the witch hunters arrived in Sintet, correct? Amunta lungo me la yele telephone, yele kumali telephone wado. Lungo ni mfano la nyimbo adema la nara sata o nyingono. Ah, muswa mi yele telephone. Yes, yes, yes. A lady called me. Can you tell us how you knew that the because you told us that the army had surrounded the village? Ako odo sa ite ni mbolo nyadi le kado iko ya fujango. Watu sojaro le ba sato ni mbe muru muru nenu. How did you know this? Ite ni nilo nyadi le. Ah, bere ni yele ni kumbo kina ndorong. Well, we saw them. The moment this lady made the call, we made observations and saw them surround the village. Did they carry anything with them? Ako foye fenye muta ibululu kono bang. Ha, sawa ni mwenye tia lu maliano. Hani ako sojaro lu mwenye la kumbo fotengi. That day I didn't see them with any guns. You've also told us about the presence of the green boys. Yeah, from Mole Jamfanong Kony, green, green, Mole Nyin Jambakere Jambakere, don't know if I'm not cool. You're from another Mole from Mole. Ah, yes. Ibe lebi yo le mutanta kusilaj. They were all there. Those green, green boys and girls were the drummers. Apart from drumming, were they doing anything else? Ninga bora utandango sola be menke kang. Foi be kuodo for kuodo for nke kang nemba. Bere dalwa ito dalwa ito dalwa paki fanya le kome iko bua bua ni bua tandango so. When they arrived, they were made to stand around somewhere because they were drumming for the witches. What of the soldiers? Did they play any particular role on that day? Sojaro ni ni yemenu la kumofana. Vuo lumo ni wofana wofana simfanya data data tafa ifanya yenda ba ibekula kigamba. Ani tala ya shato ni ndoro puru mimi beborle be fintle si wonu mota. No, they didn't do anything, but they surrounded the village so that those who want to run away and get away will be caught. You told us that they ran after some people as if they were running after animals. Ya fa mole jamfana ngo e benu mole baindi kan ke 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 baindi. Kamuta kwa kumenga biango la baendi. Ha, milo borsa iko iblata ule nuno mauzo jaro. Yes, those who ran away were pursued by the soldiers. Can you tell us how this 
was happening. I saw phone on you. You go back. I better check on you. Nyadi. Ah, there is a phone on your account. The company will cut into the money. Well, when this thing started happening, we the villagers we were in doubt because we never saw anything like this. During the process, when they were running after people. Did anything happen there? Well, those who were running, some of them were caught. And in fact, those who were caught, some of them had their feet kicked under them. When they fall down, they, they, are, they are captured. Apart from kicking their feet, did they do anything else to those people that were running away? After they were, their feet were kicked under them, they were captured and taken to the vehicle. For example, did you see anyone getting beaten? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hi, I'm Yes, some people were beaten. Can you tell us what they were using to beat these individuals? Yes, the paramilitary. They were having the buttons used by paras. You've told us about the presence of soldiers. And now you're mentioning paramilitaries. Were they both present in Sintet? Yes, they were all present. Which individuals specifically were they beaten? They were beaten. One, one of our village, village elders, they went for him inside his house. He refused to come out, but he was beaten. Can you tell us, because we were not there, can you describe to us how they went to get him and how he was eventually beaten? They said that he was a witch. Did you hear them say that? Yes, they said they are there to catch witches. And what happened when they went to his house? They went after him into his house. When he refused to cooperate with them, they dragged him out. His feet were kicked under him. When he fell down, they beat him and captured him. This person that you are talking about, was he a young man or an elderly man? He, he was an old man, a yard owner. Can you recall whether he was older or younger than you? I said he was a yard owner, an old, old man. His hair was all over grey. And who was involved in this act of beating him up and dragging him? He was brought out by the soldiers and when they started beating him, his younger brother came and told him that comply with these people. If not, they will wound you or do something else to you. 
Can you recall um, identifying any of these soldiers that were involved in beating this man? No, I cannot recognize them because there were many people there. Apart from this old man, did you see anyone else being treated in the same manner? Yes, on our side, you know, the village is a, is a big village. I tell the Carola, well, I, I, I don't have a ah. yeah, That old man was the only person they beat from the area we come from. Can you tell me about when they entered into your compound? What were you doing at that time? They were beating us at that well, that was the naming ceremony which was taking place in my compound. And we were busy doing that naming ceremony when these people arrived. What went through your mind when you saw them? What went through your mind when you saw them? Yes, I felt fear. Yes, I felt fear. Did they speak to you? For idiamutin neba. Ha, katun biri nata. Yes, because when they came. Uh huh. Biri nata iko nje ko finti. When they came, they just told me to come out. Biri ko finti. Ah, muna. Biri ko nje finti. Unko imita minto ko kanila. I asked them where I am. Where am I going? They said to kanila. I asked them what, what have I done? They said you didn't do anything. We are just going to give you something there. Who among the people spoke to you? It was one of the guys who were having these mirrors who talked to me. The one that had the mirror, can you tell us how he was dressed? They are the Malians wearing these red, red clothes. How did you know that they were Malians? They are the Malians. Well, their behavior is quite different from the others. Apart from their behavior being quite different from others. How did you identify them as Malians? Well, these people had their own way and the soldiers had their own way. You've just told us that they had their own way and the soldiers had their own way. Can you tell us what their role was on that day, the soldiers and these people? Because when they enter the compound, those wearing red had mirrors, they will start turning the mirror around in the compound and against the faces of people and they said they were hunting for witches. And what will be the role of the soldiers in this process? The soldiers were responsible for catching the people. You told us that they, they also told you to go and prepare. How were you dressed? Because they were ready to take me away. Was there any form of preparation required for you to be taken away? 
foi silo di la laban ko pour ya foi ko yete yete pare ban dum fengo to ban ben ko ben fintina la bon ko no mala ke ngamur ge ko ta ki since i left my house they changed they didn't want me to go back into the house again did you go voluntarily and walked to the vehicle fo ita te dien nyak dien nyu sol la ban fo karamu ro nyi wali ban fo nyaadi la aman di anyi ku ya ta nyaadi i never liked it i i felt very bad about it apart from you was anyone else taken from your compound ning abote tala fo e mo ko ten do bondi la korda ko no le ban ka samba ba ha ndol mo fla ram yes we were two was that a young person or an elderly person fo mari nyim fanam din din na molem ban fo keba la molem ban keba la molem he was an elderly person Can you tell us what happened when they led you to the boss? Fo isa fo na nya briye tambindi ke samba boso nyin kono mune keta. Ya mbi dem wandi so kono yom landi nyin tu eta ju kunto. When they took me out of the compound, I was made to board a pickup. A Toyota pickup. Ha? Iko kabriye bulan bondi bu kono ye bulan di Toyota ju kunto kono ay wala fo. Ha. Yom landi wol kono ye samba. I mean I was made to board a Toyota pickup. Um I just need some clarification here. Alaf ta fenne aka la fita kuma la senen sene ya jang. Was it a bus or a pickup that they boarded you on? Ye bulande to weta ju kunto le kono ban fo ye bulande bus wala kono ban. Bi de mu sa ta kono ni ni to ta ju kunto be wolto ni emi numuta. Ike bulande wol kono ni ni samba bus wala dane. Inside the village they were roaming with a Toyota pickup. If you are caught you are made to board the Toyota pickup then they take you to the bus with the Toyota pickup. Can you tell me from your own area how many people they put inside that pickup? Fo isa fo no nya ila sa do ko no jeal ila ma Allah ma fa ngol be sabo tin daamen ma fa yemo jeel muda ye bulandi ni puto wera juu kunto ko no. Mo siata. Well there were plenty. What was the size of the pickup? Was it a small one or a big one? Ni to wera juu kunto ni ngala fa no be nyaadi le fo wara male ma fo kanya ni ngola. Ni kanya ma koy male. It was a white one the normal size one. And was this car filled with the people that they were they had taken from your own area? Fo ila ma fa wala je yo mol memu da je yi to weta ju kundo ni ya fa la tebba. Ngwa mo fa ki no wonte. Not only once was it filled. Apart from the people captured. Ning abora mol la emendu muta. Was there anyone else in that vehicle with you? Fo mo ko den dol benu jela ba ni ni benu mo ni ko moto ko no je ba. Ha. Yes. And who were the people with you? Jumalam ñu mool di ni melu be ñu ñoka nje. Na ñu da min fa yanga mo ciata bo soko. Bo soko no foto ta kuna ke ñu ni ka to ta kuna la. Bo bo soko no ngam ñu traje wo ciata ani mo tan saboti de ni safu ani mo ke ma ciata. The people I found on board the bus were even more than 30 or even 100 people. Actually my question was in the pickup that took you to the bus. Ko ñi ni karo men di wala ñi di ko pickup o ñi wala to wera ju kundu ñi meye ta ila Allah ma fa wala ke samba bo so ta. Was it only the mi enta? To wera ju kundu ñi. Ha to wera ju kundu ñi ndani min du blata ge nga mara fo mo dulu. Fo mo ro. I think the total pickup that took us to the bus I think we were either five or six people on board. And were you the only six people? fo atol mo atol mo woro do na be opiko to wera ju kundo ni ngono ba ha yes how about the soldiers where were they soldier ro ni ndu wol be min to lenu o soldier ki ni wala bu fanam bo ko 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 ni be ni be be nyaamir ngien ha ibali fem mo to kono le ba foytelu mambula mo to kono ani biri yan tol fanki da rafo yan di da rafo le way mo to da rafo ay samba when we were caught we were just put under the, uh, uh, the responsibility of the driver to take us to the bus the soldiers remained in the village and where was this bus stationed nim boso ni ngabe lorin num min tole boso be lorin din fulakunda tem the bus was parked between our village and fulakunda can you tell me what you observed when you got to the bus foi sa fo no ni bringal dara fal fulata boso ni ndo mudeke dela korosil dadi Na moto en sa bi ngi en sa bazro ba tra girin girin no be tanta ko lo da min do ko be bua tanta ko son when we went to the bus what i observed was that the green green 
people were drumming and singing, they said they are drumming for the witches. At the point, let me take you back a bit. At the point when they were taking you, where were your children? My children were there. How did they feel about you being taken at that time? They said that they felt it very hard. And also you told us that your husband asked them where they were taking you. And you told us that your husband asked them where they were taking you. Well, my husband was so uh, surprised. Uh, surprised that he didn't ask them. He just stood and looked at them. At that moment, when all of you were helpless about that situation, how did you feel? We were all surprised and puzzled. You were just explaining uh, the scene when you arrived at the bus. You told us that the green boys were beating the drum. Apart from that, were there any other activities around the bus? Ninga bora watanta ngo so ali mentara ni jamba kere jamba kere dunal ba keka. Foku do shoranda jere be menke kam bus wanyi toro jeba. Ani kuma jikere na wobe le tanta ngo so. No, nothing else was happening. These people were just drumming. How about the ones that were dressed in red? Where were they? Well, they were mixed up, but they were present. Some were around the other areas of the village, some went to other areas of the village. At that point, when you arrived at the bus, did they tell you the reason why you were being taken? Well, they didn't tell us anything. What we all told was that, as they said, they were hunting for witches. Throughout this entire time, did the people in red speak to you? Well, they didn't tell us anything. When they come into a compound, they will just take their uh, mirrors and point it around areas in the compound. Even if you go into your house and lock the door, they will break down your door and come after you. Did you see them break anyone's door down? Yes, even in my own compound, one of the doors was broken down. And which door was that? Bunda Jumala Wood, Yemen Katia. My co wife, who, who also was captured, they broke her door. Was this before or after you were taken? This was the time I was captured when they came into the compound. Why did they have to break down that door? They were looking for people. Did they say anything even before they broke down the door? Well, they were speaking in Fula. Can you recall what they were saying in Fula? No, I cannot speak Fula. Your other, the other wife, 
that you're referring to? Can you tell us if she willingly went with the so-called witch hunters? Four. When they arrived first, she had run away. So in Atamata Nyadi, she was, she was caught on the run when she was running. Can you tell us how she was caught? Can you tell us how she was caught? When she was going, I think on the way she sat down somewhere because her legs were not uh, okay. That's the place where, where they found her sitting and caught her. Did she go with you to the bus or was she later taken to the bus after you had arrived there? Four. I found her on board the bus. Can you tell us what happened while you were in the bus? Four. Can you tell us what happened while you were in the bus? Four. Can you tell us what happened while you were in the bus? When we were on the bus, we were there until the afternoon, the time for the afternoon prayers. Go ahead, please. Ten ten. When we boarded the bus around that time, when it was time for the afternoon prayers, we were about to alight to go and perform our prayers. They said nobody will come down. We are under the care of the ruler. Go and sit down and control yourself. Nobody is going to pray the afternoon prayers that day. We all went back and sat down because by that time the paramilitary had boarded the bus. They were having those batons in their hands. So we became afraid. So that day nobody prayed the afternoon prayers. Just a little bit after we left. And, uh, Two buses were filled at the village of Sintet. Plus one truck. That one was also filled. These are the vehicles that left Sintet that day. We went to Kanilai. When we arrived, when we arrived, we were made to alight from the vehicles. Before we my apologies. Just before we go on to when you arrived at Kanilai, who was the one that refused for you people to pray? It was the paramilitary. So when you arrived in Kanilai, what happened? When we arrived, we were made to alight from the vehicles. You've told us that two buses and a truck had moved from Sintet to Kanilai. Where, where those vehicles all filled up with people they captured from Sintet? Four Well, all these vehicles were packed full. In fact, the seats were all filled, and some of them had to stand inside the bus. The people in these buses and the truck, were they young or elderly people? We were mixed up there. Can you tell us about, I know you would not probably know the age range, but can you tell us about the range of the people that were there, whether they were 
a bit young or older in that vehicle. Well, not young, young, young people. But Yes, there were young men and women plus elderly people. What happened when you arrived in Kanila? Muna na rin nake, bring al furata Kanila. Bina ko na yung hindi boss o kono. When we arrived, we were made to alight from the bus. Habriyali jin ni muna kita. Where did you go after coming down from the vehicle? Al tada min doon, bring al jida boss o nyo kono, anin mo rabay nyo. Boss o nyo kono, alay, show that camp out. We were made to enter the military camp. They took us to Yaya Jamez military camp. When we arrived there, they brought lunch. They said, here is lunch. Eat this food. Because if you don't eat this food to fill your stomachs, the medicine you are coming to drink will not be good for you people. Well, there's a time we sat down. Some didn't fill up their stomachs, but just uh, eat some a little bit just to guard their stomachs. And who was giving you this advice about eating? The people who were present there, in fact, they were the soldiers. And after that, what happened? After we had the lunch, some and went to perform Lanza revolution, uh, to pray the afternoon prayers and the evening prayers. When you arrived at Kanilai, Kanilai, were you allowed to move freely in the premises? No, we were Where were the soldiers that had taken you from Sintet at this point? We were Where were you, were you taken to an open place or an enclosed place? Well, it was in a military camp. It was not an open place, but in a military camp, and the floor was all made of concrete. And where were you... What were you made to do in this place that you were kept? When we arrived there, we were separated. Men were made to sit on the other side. The women were made to sit on the other side. From your recollection, were the men more than the women? Women were more than the men. What happened after they separated the men and the women? Well, after we were separated, they started taking down the names. All the men's names were taken down. Who was taking down these names? Jumala ben unyum mol to safekang. So jaro. The soldiers. Where were the men in red at this point? Unyum mol men ka inso ulengol dungu wale owatola. Ibagi. They were there. How about the green boys? Unyum jamba kera jamba kera dunal dungu wale. Ay falan ibagi. They were also there. What happened after they started taking down the names of the men? Well, 
Well, after the, after the separation, they made us take out our belongings. If you have money and a mobile, they will take them from you and place them somewhere. This is what they did after we were separated. Go ahead. Just because of the, the medicine that they are coming to give us to drink. And after your names were taken, Bri and your belongings and m money were also taken, what happened? Bri Yalto suffered for Ipare, a mobile old town in Kodo, Menu Blue, for Pare, Munanaranake. Not I love Fanke Musulka. That's the time when they Come. came for the women. They did the same thing they did to the women also. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. They all the names of the women were written down. Uh huh. 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 Between that uh, evening prayers and the dusk prayers, that's the time people were given the medicine. It was started with the men. When your name is called, do you get up and find them inside the room? They will take you to take off your clothes. You go after them into that bathroom. How you were born naked. Small, small children, the age mate of your grandson. He will uh, uh, take off your clothes, make you naked, and make you bathe. After doing the bathing, there was a bucket there where this medicine was. He, he will bring it nearer. He will uh, pour the, take the cup Fire and start come. pouring it in and out until it becomes completely fruity. These uh, cups that we use to drink tea, he will fill it up and give it to you. Then he will tell you to drink it all. After drinking that, even the leftovers in the cup, if you want to throw it away, he will say no, chew it up and, and, and swallow it. Some even uh, um, remain in your throat and they will fill the cup a second time again and give it to you. And you will drink the second fill too. Uh, but you will not take out the leftovers in the cup. You have to chew it until uh, uh, you can swallow it. Then you swallow it. Then they will take up water and throw it on your face. Well, that is also so painful that only God knows, only Allah knows. Then they'll tell you to go out. If you come and wear your clothes, the moment you stand under the veranda, it appears that if somebody will kick your legs under you, on that concrete floor, you will hear people falling down. And you will be rolling around there. Like if, a, if an animal was slaughtered, by that time, it will be the effect of the medicine going through your body. Until when you become uh, motionless, lying at one place, just like a corpse, that, that person's mouth will remain open. They will drag you and, and, and put you at a place. This is how they treated the men up to the last person. Then they came for the women. Before we move on to the women, Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you a few questions. The place where you were seated and the place where the men were giving their bath, could you see what was happening in there? Mm -hmm. 
No, you cannot see it. When you enter the room, they take you inside that room, in the bathroom, and tell you to, to, to take off your clothes. At what point were the men asked to remove their clothes? Was it in the main hall where you were, or when they are in the bathroom? Tembe juma alami ya fa nyin kewle pour que la fengol nyin bo fo wato men be band holo nyin kono dem ba fo wato men be kudla nyin to ba mm wati juma alami ya fo kewle nyi ye pour ye la dum fengol ya wura fo wato men be holo nyin kono dem ba fo wato men be e benu e kudla nyin to jon kon kono ba fo mi ngambe bantale hale ako ha ike la fengol wura min to le bumba kono ba fo ni dun ta kudla to ani saloto saloto ike wura ngole to ha ike wura wole to di ni la kurto min bele ne way dum ni fa do ke wura ba flumol kono okay they make you to uh, take off your shirt inside the hall you go into the bathroom that's where you will take off your trousers and take the bath which group of people were the ones responsible to ask people to remove their clothes afu juma le marata nyin kunna ka fu mole ko ila fengol wura ela fengol le mu yoti min ka mol ku There are the people who make who make who who take who bath you up. When you are full and cold, I will be on a tata tata only for that time. Let's start over now. These people are people are fullers from Futa. These are the people he brought in. Earlier, you told us that they were Malians, and now you're telling us that um, they are from Futa. Follow, follow. Yeah, for no more than when you Malian only. The silly Iba for come more than when you brought Futa. Ani, many Malian only for any the silly Iba, but many of them were here too. Well, Malians had their role to play, but the people who take off your clothes and and bath you up are the people from Futa. Are you saying that there were both Malians and uh, people from Futa at that place? Fo, iba fo kan na ko nindi gira ro Futa ko ni Malianol bele be maberi nyoka njeba. Ha. Yes. Can you tell us um, if anyone among the men? Was injured during this process because you told us that when they come back from Mosoro ndajela ba mem barama ta nyin kewol kono kadu ya fo mole kabri murunda na it's as if their feet are being removed from under them amulun dala ko ko amulun de fele ko ko singol nyi ye singol prokosi ko tole ha wala mo yabi min gas yes there's those people whose feet were kicked under them but abe damem ni eboro min nan ko loto ifinti tana menu ka boy cemento kan abol lema ayo ne mo ba kay mari boro la du moy la wala ke boy ni well nobody touches them it is the effect of the medicine that they drank inside that's what makes them fall down apart from uh, falling down ni ngaboro la boy wala ka boy banko to was there any other abnormal behavior foku sodan kudo sodan dele kela kete la jela ba be alon ko amang amang ke ay sa woti mang ka kela ba o ke woni ke wol foku do sodan dele me so roba na mang ke boyo ti na bo do boyo ni ne ka boyo men ke ni o be wo boyo men ke dem birin o tene lu na sar sol ko la e mari ka chatu le fo sa mo fenko tala na no so manda well after falling down on that mo on monday after taking the medicine that's where that's how they remain unconscious until in the morning on tuesday was it all of them that behaved that way after drinking the medicine or it was some of them fo o mol bele mbaw kewol nyim bele me ne yo boro nyim wol be wol ka ma o ma nya nya la bam fo fo dan tan dem dan tan dem ba mo dan tan te mi ngo be ya mi ye be ke to wala nya not a few of them All those who drank medicine behaved that way. Can you tell us what happened when it was the women's turn? For isa fo no nya silang birin kewol badda sai kew musol la wato sida muna nata nake muna keta wala musol fana ne biri ka fata musol ma fana ne kan tol fana be kilin kilin na mandil well the same thing as they did to the men we were also called one by one go ahead ten ten Mire yo yo le fran ku musol min folota adon ni wol fran ye kuna ni fata ke wurale o fana baya wulu nyaabe ni yedu do ko well the same thing applied to the applied to the women when you go into that room they'll take you they'll tell you to take off your clothes naked that's the time they will bathe you up 
and later on make him to drink the medicine. Do they leave any piece of your cloth on your body before birthing you? Janning ibe kula fo ikaf dumfen soto la ba menga rangi kauti balo bala doma ninge ba fo ikabele bundi ba. Ne ma yela shidi fo mi bele kolo ura. Hani la duma fano ikabele bundi bala. Ha anko lo fo ni la ye ura ye tiko bo ye den diko bo ye la shanto fano ye la duma fano. Ino la kau du kamba fumu kwa yoku soto la fa la afiri. Outside, if you are a woman, they will take off your hair tie, your shirt, and your wrapper, the, the, the top wrapper. So the wrapper underneath, you will go with that one inside. But the moment you go into the room, into their room, with that on the, on the, on the wrapper, they will tell you to remove that one also. Now you are naked. When uh, you are made to remove your upper garment? Okay. Were men around that area? For kiawal katara o maafan wala le bang. Ani ini ada itu ini di kiawal kuinu wala katara gong kong kong. No, this happens inside when you are inside. You are there only with those who will bathe you. My question actually was in the main hall. Kwa la nyingi karo mendo la nyingi saluba nyingi kono. You told us that you remove your upper garment first. Yeah, from all the young people, the santo, the fani santo kony ko bondi le. Then you enter in. Ina na dun konoto. And you remove the rest. Ina na tu kote mo bondi me be balo balo. Now, when you made to remove your upper garment in the main hall. Saliba nyingo na ni tarai ko e puri ele fani santo kony bondi. Where the green boys and the soldiers present there. Fo nying jamba kera jamba kera dun dal nying soldier oli katara mabe ringi le ba saliba nying kono jeba. Hani oli boka mabe kera man ke nyingke ku. Those people are not there. They are outside. Hani menu ke ku ya lo ekolo be bundi mo nyingkono le. Abe salba kono le ma salba kono molo be sirindame. Hani salba kono oni e min kumto kumani. Ha. Wala ka uli ke e walinge ni fata salo kondo re ye uragi. But the soldier only green boys will mantara salba. Hani wale ba manta. No, the green boys and the soldiers are outside. It was only the captured people who were inside the main hall. That's where you will take off your upper garments. The people that were carrying out the bathing. Ako mol menu yalan ko le maralin nungi liparola. The bathing, like having to wash you up. Ah, menu maralin yiku kuike ku. Were they male or female? For kwa wale mbwa for muswa wale. Menu kanku. Ha. Kwa wale. They are men. They are responsible for bathing us. How did you feel about that? Iyo jenya di le itoro. Mesir na nyabe tuli njumbo. Akite fe nyadi le? Mbele mesir mbanda. Hani abemema ni dunta kono toje hani fo iko yela du ma fano fano bundi. Ite mari kau je nyadi le? Ah sila mo fera tege. Well there is no there is no choice. The people carrying out this activity. Mole mene bei nkuo ke kanu. Were they older or younger? Fo dinina mole mbwa fe ba la mole mbwa. Well, those who birth us are just the age mates of our grandchildren. How did you feel at that point about having your grandchildren's age mate bathe you? Akete fe nyadi le puri kache ko mo be kuka me ya longa siki eno imama ringo fangodi. Akete iyo je nyadi le. Akete fe nyadi le. Ah, akete mburi ya kalonti. This is really surprising. When they are done bathing you, ni biri pare da keku. What else were you asked to do? Ye kani muna kula kotenge puri ye mengi benya na kamenge. Ali ni kutenti ye ye mindi borola. Ika fa de finti atra ye do bi te ya fe nya kono. Well, after bathing you up and make make you drink the medicine, they will throw some on your face, and that's the time when they they tell you to go out. Before you are asked to go out, are you allowed to put on your clothes? Yes. 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 If you come out of that uh, bathhouse, you will be allowed to wear your clothes. You've told us that there are bits of leaves in the medicine that you drank. Yes. 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 Jam, iri jambo, jambo dol katara akono jele. How did it taste like? Allah se, Allah se ya ninga benyadi le ni abu keda akono. Bayi kani. 
Well, this medicine that we are made to chew, some of them are leaves, some of, some of them are skin of certain trees which we are made to chew. But it is not nice. It's not that all bitter, but it is not nice at all. You also told us that um, they used a teacup to yeah. give you this medicine. Was this the small teacup or the bigger teacup? It is the It is not these small cups which are used with green tea, but it is the normal cup that you use for to drink tea with. The water you bathed with and the water you drank, was it the same water? The, the, the two waters are different. The one that you bathe with and the one you drink are different. How about the other liquid that was splashed on your face? It is the water that, it is the medicine that you drink. That's the same that they take to uh, throw it on your face. How did your body feel after drinking, immediately after drinking this water and then the water also being splashed on your face? It was the Well, apart from suffering. Can you please explain this suffering for us? Well, after taking this medicine, you join the people who are drunk, just people who are just drunk and no, they don't know what you, what you don't know what you are doing. Were you aware of your surroundings after taking this medicine? Well, after taking this medicine, nothing, you will, not, you will not be aware of anything, especially when you fall down, you will not know anything that's happening around your uh, uh, environment until the following day. What happened, or oh, can you recall, I know you said you were unaware of your environment until the following day. Can you tell us what happened after you got out of the place? Where were you placed? When we were taken away on Monday, we were there till Tuesday and Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. How much of this water did you take in? What was the quantity? Was it one cup or two cups? Two. I drank two cups please. And how many days did it take you to regain yourself? Zero, but after taking the medicine on Monday, 
you become unconscious until on Tuesday around the early hours of the morning. That's the time when you start to realize what was happening around you. And we were there until some time when we were taken back to go and take the medicine again. Can you tell us what happened after you regained your senses? That was before you were asked to go take the medicine again. How Well, in the morning, around the time that we are in now, by that time, uh, I have regained consciousness. I was a little bit better. Were you given anything to eat after that? No. They didn't give us. Honey, No. After waking up, we have not been given any food. Were you, for example, allowed to perform your religious uh, duties? Four. After performing our prayers on Monday in the evening when we arrived, nobody prayed there. At what time were you asked to go in there again and take the medicine? What Montro what you malam kotake in Arana Fale Kopurata Jay Kotake Kotake Puria Borol in India of Sina Flanyan? That was around this time. Already you know how your body felt when you took this medicine. Same thing, Yalon Boron in Cabriata Foloka Ebolok and Yame. How did you feel about being asked the second time to go take this medicine again? Arana Kafe Nadi, the Kotake Cabri, Narana for Kotaketa and I Katanian Borota Sina Flanyan. We were taken and made to sit down. And we were asked. You people, you are here. Now you have to tell us what you did. And what was it that they wanted you to tell them? I asked them, what is that we should tell you? They said, witchcraft. Who was doing this questioning? They were being, we were being asked, those Malians and the soldiers. In what manner were they asking you this questions? Well, they will ask us, how many people did you kill? How many children did you kill? And how many of them did you eat? How many young men did you have to go to the Marabus and destroy them? I told them we are not witches. You, you, you will have extra superpowers to be able to become a witch or wizard. How did you feel about being asked all these questions and being accused of being a witch by them? Yes, we were accused of being witches. The reason for capturing us was that they said we were witches and wizards. That's why my, they caught us. My question actually was how did you feel about being confronted with these allegations that were false? I told them I am not a witch. They said, no, we are not telling the truth. If you don't tell us the truth, you will not leave. You will remain here. Then we were so puzzled with them 
Some people said certain things which were not there, 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 which they didn't commit, which they didn't do, because just to be able to get out of that place. Some will say I ate two of my children. Some will say I ate three of my children. Just they were so uh, surprised and in doubt. And so uh, they just want to leave the place. At that point when they were being asked, this, when you were being asked these questions, did you feel that it was a safe environment or way, did you feel threatened? Yes, it was not our, our will. Um, that was not my question. You interpreted it differently. Huh? We were not threatened. We were not threatened. We were not threatened. We were not well, we were all afraid because when we went there, we were not ourselves. We had no peace there. Who were the people that, apart from the witch hunters, who you say were there? Who were the other people that were present there? people we were there with them. Bua de mala lu kola fo mo duma mo jol mo juma nyol le fanal bije. Mo la madante no soja ro le bije to ani ni malayan wolu. We were there with the soldiers and the Malians. Ha ani ni para. Plus the paras. The soldiers and the paras were they carrying any weapons with them there? Ni soja ro ni ni para le men lo kumo fo kidol be bulol ko non numo tembo la ba. Ha ni kidite bulu. No they didn't have any guns. Were you asked questions in a group or individually? You were asked individually, and you were asked how many people did you kill? How many people did you take to the Marabus to destroy them? Young men that whom you destroyed, how many of them? I told them that we didn't do anything like that. They said we are not telling the truth. If we didn't tell them the truth, we will not leave that area. That's why we were given the medicine the second time. And can you tell us how this process was done? Drinking the medicine a second time. The reason for that is, what they accused us to be is not what we are. That's the reason for drinking the medicine the second time. How were you made to drink the medicine a second time. Why did you get the medicine a second time? It was after, after I told them that I was not a After I told them that I'm not a witch, I didn't kill anybody. I didn't take anybody to the marabouts to destroy them. They said, I'm not telling the truth. If you don't tell us the truth, we will give you something else that you will drink. If you fall down here, nobody will help you. Uh -huh. I, tell, I told them that if you don't help me until if I die, I said a person dies only once. If you die once, you will not die again. And because in the next world, there is no other world beyond the next world. But I will not tell you what I am. I will not tell you what I haven't done. They told me to get up. I followed them. 
I went in, they made me naked, took off my clothes. That's the second time they made me to drink the medicine. I came after there, it was around the afternoon prayer time. And this is how most all of them were treated. All of us, we, may, we are made to drink the second time. What we are not. They want us to say things that we have not done. They say, I told them, you don't want that. This is the reason why they, were, they made us to drink for the second time. When I went in and I was made to drink, this was on Tuesday around during the afternoon prayers. When I came out, I was, I, I was again like somebody who is drunk. I had to crawl on my knees until I climbed on top of the veranda. I, I went under the veranda. When I lie down there, well, inside my throat looked like it was there was concrete in my throat. Even if I speak to you, you will not hear what I'm saying. My mouth all became fruity and white because of the effect of the medicine I took. If I raise up my head, if I raise up my head, it looks like somebody slapped me. What my what head will fall on the concrete. What By that time, the medicine was taking its effect. What when it was fully effective in my body, what I didn't know anything else in my environment. That's how I remained until it was a, a dusk in, on, uh, on Tuesday. We went into Wednesday. I drank it around the afternoon prayers on Tuesday. Until the same time on Wednesday. That was the time when I became conscious. The room was filled up at that time. That was the time I raised up my head and I asked my companion, I asked her, where are the people who were with us in this room? She told me that I haven't seen them too. That was the time when I tried until I got up and sat down. I crawled until to the veranda again. When the soldiers sighted me, they started sounding, Hey, old woman, where are you going? Go back into the room. I told them, look at me. My situation. I cannot run. I, I, I have, I'm crawling. How can I run away? I told them I'm looking around for my people. They told me, go back into the room. They were evacuated. They were taken away from here yesterday. I said, okay, that's what I, I'm, I'm asking. Then I went back to my companion into the room. I, I informed her that they said half of the people who were here were taken home yesterday. So the rest of us remained there until the time they felt if they said if anybody refused to say anything you will not go out. When they look at you they will tell you look at you look at your mouth you just look like a witch. When they came to me and asked me, I told them, what I told you is what I stand by up to now. I told them what I am not. I will not say that's what I am. Kill me. But I will not tell, the, I will not tell you that this is what I have done. They told me to go and sit down there. I went and sat down. They were asking the orders. A soldier came and found me 
And she, he asked me, old woman, what are you sitting here for? I, I told him that they said I am not going away. Because what I am not, they said that's what I am. What I didn't do, they said that's what I did. And I will not tell them what I didn't do, I will not tell them that that's what I did. That's the time the soldier told me, get up. He took me to the bus. All those who went there, none of us regained their health again properly. Some had eye problems. Some had internal problems. Some people, in fact, uh, developed ulcer from there. Some people were suffering from uh, dysentery and some people started suffering from high blood plus uh, uh, pain in your bones. We all became sick. There was nobody among us who regained his or her health. That's how they took us away from there. They brought us back to our villages. Just after one week, yeah, took a truck. That's what he filled with groundnut, groundnut uh, in shells, and filled this vehicle with it, bags of it. And it was brought to the village, to the Alkali's place. Saying that let him dis let him distribute it in the village. We, we decided to uh, uh, to break these groundnuts, taking the shells out of the taking the seeds out of the shells. After all this, we have to winnow it to remove the shells from to, to the seeds from the shells. But they told us not even a single seed should be eaten by somebody. After we knowing it, we will uh, uh, separate the bad ones from the good ones. And this is how the granite was distributed in the village. Two days. We were uh, uh, breaking these groundnuts. When they brought it for me. From the day I left that place, I didn't cry. But the day we were breaking these groundnuts, I cried that day. I thought. The Almighty Allah who created me didn't place on this suffering on me just like a human being like me is the person who placed all this suffering on me. He decided to brutalize me. He did something very bad to me. He made me suffer. I cannot do anything about it. That day I thought deeply. I cried but that didn't stop me from breaking the ground. We did that until the end. We winnowed it. I gave it to my daughter. I told her to take it to the Alkali. I told her to tell the Alkali that my mom, my mom said, let me give you this. I told her to tell the Alkali that I don't like this ground. I don't like this ground. Let him give it to somebody else. I, I, I'm, I have really made this haram. That ah. means I will never touch this thing. Yo, this is how we send, I sent my groundnuts to the Alkali. All of us who went to Kanilai, none of us was there who didn't take part in the breaking of the groundnuts. Yo, After that, they said again that every woman Ko. salt, Ko boto. a bag of salt. Ko muso muso la fita Ko boto la. Every woman who wants a bag of salt, Ko boto. Bus, boto. Let you, let you should take a bag, a ya rice, da. a bag, a, a bag of rice, an empty bag of rice. Ya da kara. And so it. You will fill this empty bag with salt and sow it. 
He said, every woman who does it, he will give you two bags of rice. That's how he fooled us. He That's all what we did. If you fill this bag, bag of empty bag of rice with salt and sow it, uh, they will put it in a wheelbarrow and take it to the Bantaba. His big truck and came and collected this salt from the Bantaba. That's how we were. So our people came and took us and took us to the place where we can have treatment. Some were taken away by their brothers. Some were taken away by their sons and daughters. All of us who drank this medicine, we all spent three months at the, at the treatment for taking, take, being treated at our people's homes. Because this medicine had really, really serious powers which was in our body. All of us became sick people. Why do you think Yaya uh, Jame decided to, dis to freely give you granite? And also exchange salt bags for bags of rice. Well, he did it because he had, he has the powers. And do you know the purpose of all of these? Because he was the ruler. He has the powers. That's what he was showing us. You told us that uh, when he sent the granites, you cried because you felt that you were helpless. And because of that, you did not eat that granite. When you returned it, what was the reaction of the Alcala to that? Well, the Alcali, I cannot get his reaction, but because I gave the granite, to my daughter to take it to him. You have also supplied me with names of people that had drank this concussion. Can you please confirm this? Yes. Mr. Chairman, the witness had provided me with a list of names that she remembered from the people that drank the concussion. So I would like to turn the, the protected information sheet as exhibit. I'll just forward it to the commissioners so that they can see the list of the names. You've told us about the condition of other people when they left <coughs> Kanilai. Can you tell us how you felt health wise after returning home? I don't regained my health. What kind of illness were you suffering from? In my body, I can say I have all sorts of sickness in my body. 
Because I rely on farming. I, 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 I cultivate rice farms. But since after taking this medicine, this is the fifth year that I stopped farming. I can't go to the rice farm, I can't walk. That has seriously re re reduced my, 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 my work. And with my children, if I do this farming, rice farming, after getting rice out of my rice fields, it helps me a lot. But when after I stopped that rice farming, all my children were started suffering. They were treating me uh, health-wise, and they were feeding me up. Those people, in fact, it, it retarded their, their affairs. Can you tell us what kinds of treatment you underwent after this incident? When the high blood attacked me, plus the internal pain in my bone, bones and up to my waist, plus my eyes, the medicine that they threw on my face, that is really giving me serious problems, especially my eyes. My eyes have a problem now. Plus my waist. Uh, my, my waist gives me a lot of problems. Even for a short distance, I feel it very hard to walk on foot. That's my big problem now. And you attribute all these symptoms to the contortion that you were, concussion that you were made to eat. Drink, sorry. Well, that's the reason. That's the only reason. When I didn't drink this medicine, nothing happened to me. I am looking at your statement right now. And on your statement, you had told the investigators that you are suffering from stomach ache Chest pain, and also high blood pressure. And you still suffer from these things after drinking the medicine. And you also told the investigators that you had undergone an operation which had cost around $50,000 is a sum which was raised by your family. Can you confirm this? Yeah, that's the truth. When did you undergo this operation? When did you undergo this operation? No, I didn't perform an operation. What kind of treatment did you undergo that cost around fifty thousand? I went to my brother Busumbala. in Busumbala. My younger brother. What is he took me to the place where I had the treatment. In which hospital were you treated? I am not in the hospital. 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 Well, at that time, I cannot say anything about my condition. The hospital that he took me to, I cannot remember. Because during those days, Every day it looks like that I am drunk. I remember they just put me on board a vehicle and took me away. 
But apart from that, the places we went to, I cannot recall. Do you have uh, the medical papers that were accrued during this period? L'hôpital Kaidol n'y a pas de boulot qu'on a le banc, il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Il y a un boulot qu'on a le banc. Well, when he took me to these places, the papers that were issued uh, were, were left with him. How soon after the incident did you receive this treatment? Well, it was just a matter of weeks when we were released because after uh, we were released, we were made to break those groundnuts and after that we were made to uh, cook the salt and after just cooking the salt, that's the time I left for treatment. Who do you blame for what happened to you and the others from your village. Ite ila kundi ya jundi ya mirror. Ite be juma le jala ila kuole mel late kang. Ani muhimu nyole ine menu bara sade killing. Kuole mel late kang. Ite be juma le jala ila. Ah, ndebe menu jala jala for million makoi. Ite be juma le jala ila kuole mel late kang. Kole ya ila jundi ya mirror. Ite be juma le jala ila kuole mel kole ya mel late kang. Kabri ya samba ya mili ni mboro la. Kole ya mel late kang. Ite be juma le jala ila wola. Me mumi ya samba kani la. Well, I will blame the people who took me to Kanilai. Um, generally, can you tell us what impact this incident has been on your family? Akomoto silang, isa phone nyi, nyimko mu meobe ke samba Kanilai nyimbori mula akobe mune sabu inila dimaya luma. Ah, niwa langaji akole lede, aendele fanga jakali. Well, we saw ourselves in this, but me, well, I, I cannot understand it. Thank you very much, Madam Kamara. Abarka bage, Madam Kamara. Thank you very much for answering all of my questions. Ndunga abarka bage purila songa la fananka nani ningarol vi jabi. Now I refer you to the commissioners. Aninka vi me me la kuol samba la commissioner liya aninki amano. Ask you any other question that they wish to ask. Nini ninga nini nisi nini ningarol sorebe nini ninga la melna. Mr. Chairman, the witness is yours. Okay, Chairman, sign said or muita. Thank you very much, Chairman, Council, and thank you, Mrs. Kamara, for your testimony. Abarka baake, Chairman, ka abarka baake, Council, abarka baake, Mrs. Kamara, fana ila se dola se de yaro la jang. And to you, we express our sympathy for the suffering that you endured. And nohaning kabi ye kole ya kol mian soro fana ini ini ya talale. Should not have happened to somebody who has done nothing. I uh, just one point um, uh, of clarification. What exactly happened uh, with the fifty thousand dollars? Was it paid or wasn't it paid? statement Amanda, Amanda, ni adi le. Ibaring ke kudo bundi le ayajo mane bang fudum. Ha ha ha. Amanda, kudo bata ibaring ke ole bulu. Ha, bata ibaring ke ole bulu. Well, that money was the amount my brother spent for my treatment. We may need to follow up on that. But, commissioners, if you have any questions to ask, please indicate. Misona la bolle ni ninka kau ni mo ni ninka sore bansi ni ninka. Yeah, deputy chair. Ano lang ko wala ilaft ni ningkala. Thank you very much, Fatu. Ako abar ka ba ke Fatu? I have two questions. Ningkar flow le bembulu. The one is related to the bagging of the salt. Following when you usujira ning ko ko boti ni ndakuwa la kubuka ko ni sodi. Where you paid the two bags of rice as promised. Ya Allah ya 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 al promise ni amelo ya Allah hidi amelo fa ewa kila bamba mani bora fulani ya dia alal bang amani no we we were never compensated with the two bags of rice now the second one is in relation to the naming ceremony 
ñinin kar fulan ñam ñinin wos ob su jilane ñin kulli yo kulli yo ñin la taking into consideration the importance of naming ceremonies in our culture ni ya ju ben aado to kulli yo bu ñaa nafa men bala na aado to and the fact that this ceremony was interrupted by the witch hunters and we yana na ju be fana ñin ko ñin kulli yo ñin ñata na kulli yo ñin beti ñay bulle what was the impact on those people who were at the ceremony mol men na ta kulli yo ñin ma be nu ñi ay na na mu ko leya kulle saabu wol ma and also on the community as a whole aning allah e signo allah ja allah e signo mal ma fana bu na na mu ko leya kulle saabu wol ma thank you abarka no ay ko ya ko si mal kaduna do no rol min tabita itu dal ordi man do mo wol jangante min jaw jangay isa hol well it brought it brought hardship on us because when these things happen we have to cook for the people but after cooking the food for the people well it was left there uneaten because people had to disperse in a hurry against their will thank you commissioner kinte you have arga commissioner kinte wala be nyinin kala silam hello assalamu alaikum bato wa alaikum assalam ah mo nyinin kala bring yal min di fulani nyanke boro la ya ko nyeko briña fanu tema ye moño nyinin ka molle yes um the question is uh you said after you woke up after drinking the medicine for the second time you asked your mate the other woman who was with you there where are the people wala keta so yes that's what happened iko akoyo ko nta fana meje she replied to you that i haven't seen them ah ay wol fa nyako nta fana meje wot mo le wulita that yes the her reply was yes i didn't see them too that was the time when i start i tried to get up munu mata ndata fo banta i crawled on my knees up to outside ngere ko nyako nyako suuto re yon mo so e samal then that's the time when i was informed that the bus took them away from there at night murda kan nan kay ko suuto bo say won murundi i came back to my mate and i informed her that well they told me that it was at night when the bus took them away from here wo fa ni yokete ara ara boot then the following day was wednesday in the morning so wo ra ka munda atol mo fulo dorone tuta nunje ye nyin tol be sambal fa tuta tol mo fulo fo nal siata wote al mo jel yamira wala tuta nunje ye men tuje kala be sambal it looks like only the two of you remained there or if it is more than that can you estimate how many of you remained there after those who others were taken home mo siata ni amanda ya tala tala doro yi dol sambay dol tuje well we were many it just we, it was just like some were taken away but those who remained there we were a little bit plenty well it means that the two of you who were at the same place the others were not with you in that same room they were at another place we were all in the same house we were all in that same room but when we were going to bed how the room was filled was reduced so when i woke up it looked like a lot of people had already departed okay al mo mo jamale je bari mo dan tambe nu njeer ha wala yum kumpa fitu da tan ni ni karo well that's it i saw a few people inside there that that's what made me go out to ask where are the others thank you commissioner bojan commissioner bojan wala bi ne ni ni kala silam thank you chairman ay barka kiyama fatou kamara Ako he said there is one place where I want you to clarify. Ko ibarinke jara ko domina wul tallu. You said the amount of money that you brought your brother used to treat you was about 50,000 dollars. Fo womu lotan kilin na ko dorti ban fo ake samba lotan jama jama kay to wul lol la ko do be ka futa nyola keta wul tallu ti ban. Was that so la jara ro bi cho be ko Was that money spent inside one hospital or was he taking you to different places or different hospitals 
and during that course, that's the amount of money which was spent uh, during your treatment. That's what I don't understand. Was that money spent in one hospital or at different hospitals? Well, my treatment could read that because during those days, I, I cannot remember myself properly. I, 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 I don't even know about my condition. Because during those days, even if I breathe, the, 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 the scent of this medicine comes through my mouth and nose, especially when the sun gets hot. If the, sun, if the sun gets hot, I start shaking all over. I will not go out under the sun, I will not eat, I, I remain lying inside the house. Later on, my brother said, well, now I don't know what to do. I'm really in doubt. Then I told him, then leave it. I told him that if I die, I, 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 told, I told them if I die, I will know that my time is up. Then my brother told me, no, you will not die. If it is because of treatment, the, um, the type of treatment, the, that our efforts that we've done, if it remains that, then you will not die. The question is that was it one hospital that you visited or not? Then the answer is no, it was not one hospital. If we go to one hospital after leaving there, if the attack comes back on me, we go to a different hospital. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Jones. You have the floor. Commissioner Jones, <coughs> Thank you, Chairman. Kaya Barka Kiaman. Madam Kamara, I would like to know um, in Kanilai. Madam Kamara, Kanilai Sadokono. When they took away your belongings and money. But this returned back. Well, our belongings were returned to us. What about the money? Kododum. Kododum. They returned all of these items to us. They returned all the belongings to us. I think the reason for taking them from us was how your condition is going to be after the medicine. Okay, thank you. Um, my second question is in relation to the fact that you've told the Commission that prior to the visit of the witch hunters um, in Sintet, you already heard about them. Did the conversation change following their visit to Sintet and how they were perceived? Kafaling. Ah. Well, nothing changed. The moment they stepped into the village, we were all in fear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Commissioner C. Commissioner Imam C. What is your name? I am ibe <laughs> Yes, who people who came to attend the uh, naming ceremony. Some of them were caught. Thank you. Uh, Thank you.
because since I became aware of myself and my surroundings, I have never seen anything like this in the country. What Yaya Jami did to go and catch people from their villages to bring them and take them to a place to go and brutalize them and go and put hardship on them and we cannot do anything about it. I'm appealing to the Gambians. Plus the present government. Let them all tie their waists. And stand in front of things know, like this. Let it never occur in this country again. If it is something like a seed, let them destroy the seed. Because people suffered greatly. They destroyed all, they, they, they violated all our rights. We and the children. I'm appealing to the Gambians. Help us with that. We don't want an occurrence of a thing like this again in the country. That's what I have to say. Yes. Thank you very much indeed, Emma, for those very, very wise uh, remarks. I hope I'm uh, not just the youth of the Gambia listening to you on this, but that it is an obligation for all of us uh, to not allow this kind of thing to happen again in this country. Your words were very precise and clear. Thank you very much indeed for your testimony. Council, your, your request Emma, for and council, your request Emma, to tender the document is granted. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. We will take no. a, a 30 minute break and then come back at 12 35. Meeting is adjourned. Hey. Not only the new tube, but Bulani hey, new tube alla, but pare na nyawa alla. We are not all about skin. We are skin care and the plus, and the plus does come in so many different ways. <laughs>
Diuli lani maro lani. Fop lani. Eh, awajua di mianda hano gerde tenge ngalo sabu ngalo Ibrahim journal tao. Joni mianda se ya hai kapiti kinya uloeding. Ha hum pondi re ma ku esko no ne waru. Ah, wade no. Ane kore. Ibrahim mama kuto wani. Mo America. Ah, ku America wani. Eh? Kere hum pita kifi be musi be men balu. Balu? Hmm. Mais c'est ce que j'ai dit, c'est ce que j'ai dit. Si j'ai dit que j'ai dit, j'ai dit que j'ai dépassé la Gambie. Et j'ai dit que 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 j'ai dit. Si j'ai dit que j'ai dit que j'ai dit que j'ai dit que j'ai dit. Maro, Basal, Pomme de Terre. J'ai dit que j'ai dit que j'ai dit que j'ai dit. Si j'ai dit que 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 j'ai dit. Tu vois où ma jeune nous est Quand il s'est avalé un petit peu de couvée, tu vois que tu as un peu de jeune, 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 tu as un peu de